back to Catch Fish Not Feelings. Today we're fishing at my local pond for some freshwater bass. So it's kind of hot right now, it's really windy. So I hope you guys can hear me. But this is what we're using today. A little drop shot rig with a white swim bait. And then a small quarter ounce weight right here. This pond is pretty pressured. And so I'm trying my best to use very light line, keeping it very simple. So the whole idea is just to cast out, reel in slowly, and let the tail of this lure do all the work, and we'll see if we can catch anything. Let's get to it. Yeah, so my strategy pretty much is just to like walk the entire perimeter of the lake, cover as much ground as I can, and maybe we'll catch one. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Found a lure, I guess. A little bucktail jig. Hey, free fishing lure. I wasn't sure if that was a bite or not. That felt small though. Might have been stuck. It's weird. This one looks fine. Not that deep here. Oh, I got something. Fish on. Woo! Fish on, baby. On the drop shot. Oh, it's a good size bass. Woo! 
<laughs> Drop shot, baby. A good sized bass. Oh my god. Ooh. Let's go. First fish of the day. Nice bass, probably about a pound and a half, two pounds. I didn't bring a scale on me, but it looks like it's about 14, 15 inches. Pretty decent size. Yeah, caught on right on the uh, drop shot rig. Let's go. Let's release him. Someone caught him before. He has like a broken jaw already. But let's put him back. Trying to revive him. Yeah, so that fish I caught right on the drop shot and I decided to change it up. And I was just jigging up and down a little bit, jigging it up and down, pausing it, jigging it up and down again, and bam, I got that nice bass. No skunk for me. It's um this lake is really really hard. Um, I've been here countless times and like I've been skunked so many times. But I guess just keeping things simple, keeping your line, you know, keeping it light, keeping it simple is your best option in like a area that's really heavily pressured. But I'm really happy. I can go home happy now, knowing that I caught at least one fish. But let's see if we can get more. Let's go. So since we caught that bass, jigging it up and down, I'm gonna try a different approach. I'm gonna do a few casts, just retrieving slowly, and then a few more casts, jigging up and down. And same idea, I'm just gonna cover as much ground as I can and I'll walk around the entire lake. That was actually a pretty good sized bass. I really wish I brought my scale with me. Look about like a pound and a half, 15, 16 inches. Really fat. Yeah, so remember, you want to let it sink to the bottom. Then jig it up and down a few times. Pause, let it sink down again. Jig it up and down. Pause, let it sink again. And so as it falls, you know, the action comes from the tail of the swim bait. So another good thing to notice is that, you know, there's a bunch of algae at the bottom, right? And so another benefit of using the drop shot is it's going to help get your lure out of that algae you know and I'm using a small weight a really really small one and that decreases the chance of that weight getting stuck in the algae so I'm pulling up less algae whenever I reel in and my lure is staying out of that algae where the fish can see it so that's another reason why I'm using the drop shot rig right now Oh, don't tell me I'm stuck on a rock. One hour later. I guess I'm done for today. One fish, out.
I have errands to run anyways. I'm just trying to make myself feel better. <laughs> so we fished for about an hour. I only had time for a quick session. I have errands to run later tonight, but that was pretty fun. You know, one fish is better than a skunk. And I snagged at the end anyways on a big rock. So I decided to just cut it and go home. But yeah, it's nice catching a fish at this lake. It's definitely been a while, you know, this place is really pressured and it's hard to catch fish here. But there are definitely really good sized fishes in there. And sometimes just keeping it simple and light is going to land you a fish. Well, tight lines everyone. Thanks for watching.